Hello guys, welcome back to NST Inspo. For today's video, we are going to show you how to show discount on product page Shopify. So if you're interested, let's start our tutorial. So first thing that we need to do here is we need to log in into our account at Shopify.com. Now from here, just to give you an overview, what I'm talking about is we need to open up our store here. And from here, we want to go to one of our products. Now in this example, I'll be using a shirt product that I just added. And in this case, what we need to do here is, or the uh, the price that we want to see here is a slash on a price, uh, price here and we want to show a sell price here. So sometimes it is kind of confusing, especially if you're fairly new with Shopify, but believe me or not, it's actually pretty easy to apply. So first thing we need to do here is we need to go to our store or sorry, in our admin page here, and we want to go to our products. Now in products, you want to choose our product. So in this case, I have a shirt here. And as you can see in my product page here, uh, when I scroll down a bit, I have a variants section. So the each variant that we have here has different prices or they have the same prices. They, they are just different like colors, sizes, and a lot more. Now in this case, we could go ahead and just change the price here like for example we want to indicate that this uh, red is going to be $12 or black is going to be $15 yeah so that's the basic thing that we could change here but yeah so applying the method of uh, applying sales or showing sales here is what we need to do here is select our products first so go ahead and select all your products by clicking on the check at the top left here or you could go ahead and just select all the one of them uh, individually but yeah so once you've done that, select selected all your products, click on the bulk edit that you see here at the bottom section. And once you click on this one, it's going to show you this table here. So in this table, you could change a few things. So uh, also by default, you won't have the same UI that I have right now. So sometimes some of the columns are going to be hidden, especially the compare at price, which is going to be really important later on when we edit our prices. So at the top right, when you click on the column section here, you'll be able to see different uh, sections or columns that you could edit. Like for example, if you want to add, view your barcode, continue selling when out of stock, track, uh, track quantity, the weight requires shipping, and a lot more. Again, what we need to do here is we have to ensure that the compare at price is actually present. As you can see, when I uncheck the compare at price, it's going to be missing here. So we want to show that, so add a check next to it. Now, once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is you want to add your base price. So the difference between price and compare at price here is price is the current price of the product. But the compare at price here is going to be the original price of that product. Now, let's say we have our products here. Like, for example, we want to uh, name the shirt blue here as, for example, the base price is going to be $10. So in this case, you could go ahead and just add $10. So by the way, I'll be showing you a trick here that you could use. Like for example, uh, you already have your $10 here. Click on this section here. So it's going to give you a different icons. So drag it below. And as you can see, the price will change accordingly on our highlighted price here. Now in this case, what we need to do next is we need to change the current price. Like for example, we want to price our shirt here blue at $5 and we want to basically showcase that this is currently on sale. Now, same thing with red here. We want to price this as five. And from there, you could go ahead and just click on save at the top, right? Now, in this case, what we need to do is we need to go back here and that should be automatically saved. As you can see, the save at the bottom right should be uh, not highlighted. Now, in this case, we need to go to our store here. And what we need to do is just reload our page. So sometimes it's not going to immediately re uh, show the ch uh, changes. So sometimes it's going to be a delay on that. So just make sure that you reload your page over and over again until the updates are reflected. So as you can see, the sale now is 200 Philippine Peso. So currently, it's uh, I've set this to Philippine Peso. So if we want to view the USD for this one, so let's go ahead and look for USD here. So I did states. As you can see, it's now uh, in this price here. But let's choose also AUD here. 
Like, yeah. So AUD. So currently black is going to be ten dollars Australian dollars here since we set this at five dollars, the current price for it. And we also have red here, which is going to be on sale because we set this up to five dollars. So to compare ad price is basically the base price of it. So depending on what we set on the price here, it's going to be updated. Now for example, we also want to change the black here as five dollars. Let's go ahead and click on save here. So while it's saving, let's go back to our store. And same thing with blue, as you can see, it's going to be five Australian dollars. Now in here in black, again, sometimes not going to reflect immediately. So you need to reload your page over and over again until those changes are actually reflected into your shop. So let's just reload this one. And as you can see, our changes are now reflected and currently the black shirt is now on sale. So this one is fairly easy. It's uh, something that you uh, need to do and just add columns and change those values and you should be good. So that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you. Like and subscribe to you and if the inspo, thank you for watching.